What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, I listened to you guys. I read you guys comments on what Pokemon you guys want to see. We got ourselves a Flygon team to showcase for you guys today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. And also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other Pokemon you guys would like to see me showcase in some BDSP double battles. Because I really do like your guys' comments. I really do like reading you guys' answers and bringing you guys Pokemon that you guys want to see. I'm thinking of maybe doing a Sharpedo team next. Or maybe a polyrath. There's a bunch of different options. But if you guys have suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Flygon. One of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3. I absolutely love him. It is a ground and dragon type. And we decided to give it the choice scarf so it can outspeed a bunch of Pokemon and do big damage all around. It's got the levitate ability as it's its only ability. Its EVs are attack and speed. And then we're rocking out with a great move set of Dragon Call, Earthquake for Stab, U-Turn for, you know, pivoting out because we got that choice scarf. And then last but not least, we got superpower for our coverage move. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be Tyranitar over here. And Tyranitar pairs up with Flygon really well because Flygon is just not effective on a Sandstorm. So it's really, really good. Just kind of get the Sandstorm bros going out there and get rolling from there. We got Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide, which is fairly normal. Like I said, Sandstream as its ability. And then the item this thing is holding is going to be that Lumberry to protect it from any status condition. Third Pokemon on squad is my boy Gyarados. I wasn't going to use Gyarados in today's video. And then I needed like one more Pokemon. And Gyarados just fit it so well. So it's just like, yo, we got to use Gyarados yet again. He's got that life orb. He's rocking Intimidate with attack and speed EVs. And then last but not least, this move set is Waterfall. Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, Protect. Actually swap this Gyarados out or this Gyarados in for the Gyarados with Crunch. Because, you know, we have Tyranitar right here who has a Crunch by itself. So it has that dark coverage. So I decided to go with my Ice Gyarados instead. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Scissor, one of the best Pokemon in BSP. It's got Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Stance, Protect. It's rocking the uh, Technician ability and then the Metal Coat as its item. Fifth Pokemon on squad is going to be another Bug type. I just felt like using the Mega. It's so fun to use and it's really good all around. It's got the Focus Sash as its item. It's rocking Speed Boost as its ability. So at the end of every single turn, it's going to be able to get plus one on speed. And then it's got Air Slash, Bug Buzz, Protect, and U Turn for its four moves. I really do like this Pokemon because it is one of our only special attackers on the team. Because our next special attacker isn't really a special attacker. It's kind of just there for support. And that Pokemon is going to be Arcanine over here. It's got Flamethrower. It's got Snarl, will o and Protect. If you guys have been watching my BDSP videos, you guys know I absolutely love this Arcanine. And it's really good at controlling the battle with the attack drops and the special attack drops. And the burns with the will o -Wisp. It's got Intimidate as its ability. DBs are fully invested in HP, special defense, and speed is split. And then last but not least, the item it is holding is at a Guaf Berry. So when it goes to like, I think it's one-fourth health, it gets a big boost back in health. But guys, there's a team preview. Let's hop to that Coliseum and get rocking with this Flygon team. This is why I love BDSP Double Battles. Look at battle number one. Look at all the cool Pokemon. We're going up against an Infernape, Dust Noir, Feraligator, Electivire, Garchomp, and Honchkrow. Dude, all these Pokemon are so cool. And we have no dupes, right? No dupes. This first battle is looking amazing. Just a bunch of stacked Pokemon. Infernape, Flygon, Tyranitar, Dust Noir, Feraligator, Gyarados, Scizor, Electivire, Garchomp, Yamega, Honchkrow, and Arcanine. Dude, does it get better than this? It does not get better than this. This team is looking amazing. But how should we go into this one? How should we lead it? I want to get Flygon ripping in uh, turn one. I feel like Flygon can do a lot of different work. He's got the choice scarf. He can outspeed a ton of different Pokemon. We could also lead Cheetar because Cheetar could be solid. How's that rock? Rock could do some work. We're going to lead the Sandstorm boys. We're going to roll with them. Um, This guy, oh, he picked a six battle. It's a 6v6. Okay. It's a 6v6 he wants. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And I've been reading you guys' comments. I saw you guys say, uh, you guys do like 6v6 battles, so I don't mind doing them. I do not mind doing them. So I'll do a few uh, more so in the future now. Instead of just doing 4 4 4, maybe we'll throw in like 1 6v6 per battle or per video. He's going to end up leading these two, and I'm with it all. Could fake me out. It's definitely an option, but dude, I love where we're sitting here. I really do like where we're sitting. I think I'm just going to protect my T Tar here and just drop an EQ, right? It's our best play. Protect T Tar, run it. Run it, dude. Love it. Love this. This first battle is going to be awesome. So hopefully he's picking out my T-Tar with that Infernape. Because that would kind of do me dirty if he goes into uh, to my Flygon with the pick out. But if he picks out my T-Tar and we protect it, we get off a free EQ on Infernape and Electivire. And my Choice Scarf. He should be able to outspeed all these guys. Should be able to outspeed them all. So let's see if he goes into the fake out into Infernape or into Tyranitar. Oh, he does not. He does not even go for a fake out. So we get off that free EQ with that Choice Scarf. Should be able to do a good amount of damage here. Chipping him up. Look at this. Oh my god, yo, Choice Scarf Flygon. 
Thank you guys for requesting Flygon. We are going to be running battles with him today. Beautiful start for us with the Flygon, dude. Big old double kill with that protect. I could drop another EQ if I want to. Actually, I'm going to have to. So I might just hard swap into Gyarados. Or Yamega. One or the other. I think uh, Gyarados would be a better bet because we get off Intimidate. And then Yamega can keep his focus dash. So he won't lose Sandstorm. But he's going to go into here. He's going to go into there. And I might have to. I might just hard swap my Flygon at this point. Let's see who else he goes into. Bro, or Alligator. Yeah, I think we're just going to hard swap my uh, Flygon. Keep him for the back end. Swap into Intimidate. Yeah, I'm going to Intimidate both these guys. They're both physical attackers. Let's do it. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna roll into a beautiful rock side. 100% my play. 100% my play. We love it. So Flygon, get on out of here. Is that a quick claw? Is that a quick claw? Didn't I swap by Flygon? Okay, I was gonna say. Does quick claw go before swaps? <laughs> but quick claw came out. It showed that I had quick claw, and now I swap my Garrus, and now Hanchko's gonna go. Yo. But yeah, Intimidate's gonna poke here. Not a bad start for us, yo. Flygon's buzzing. But yo, such a cool Pokemon. I never had a cooler Pokemon battle than this. Like, with all the amount of cool Pokemon there are. Then end up ripping into Dark Pulse and Gyarados. Gyarados, that. Okay, so that thing shows you special attack. And Titar's gonna drop a Rock Slide. That should take out uh, Crobat. Or well, not Crobat. Honchkrow. Yeah, Honchkrow's gone. Now we have a chance to flinch. We have a chance to flinch here in battle. Flinch that for Alligator. We do not. He's gonna go for a Hydro Ball. Oh. 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 Eat this up. Maybe? Maybe not? We do. We do. I don't know why he's rocking Hydro Pump for Alligator's a physical attacker. He needed to hit me with like a Waterfall or something. Nice lovely Waterfall, but I do like where we're sitting. I could swap back into Flygon, which I kind of want to do. I kind of want to swap back into Flygon. I just like Flygon. <laughs> like, dude, he's so cool. He is so cool. Well, let's see what he rolls into. He's going to roll into Dust Doom Wall here, and I think we should punch that slot and put Ice Fang the other slot. Want to? Maybe go for a waterfall flinch. Might be my play because I really want to crunch here and just chip up some damage on the Dust Noir while we can. While we can. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. But I know a lot of you guys have been asking in the comment section down below. Yo, Jeans, how do you find BDSP battles? I legit just go into the Coliseum and I hit internet and I just wait there. No link codes, no nothing. You just hit internet, double battles, uh, and then you confirm it. Like, yes. And then you just wait in the Coliseum and eventually you'll find people. That's how I do it. These videos do take me longer to record. Like, obviously, Sword and Shield, you can find battles back to back to back just constantly. But this one, it takes me probably like 20. I, I Sometimes I wait 20 minutes for a battle. But I do it for you guys. I have a lot of fun doing these videos. And I know you guys do enjoy them. But yeah, that's how I get my battles. I know a lot of you guys have been asking. You guys are like, yo, I can never find battles. Every time I find a battle, it's just awful. But yeah, I legit just wait my turn. Just sit in the Coliseum and wait. That's how, that's how you gotta be. That's how you gotta be. The waterfall's gonna poke here. It's gonna chip up a little bit of damage. I'm going for a flinch. I just thought it was my best bet there. And I should be able to drop this crunch. I should be able to outspeed them all. Beautiful crunch coming hot. And oh my god. Triggered a focus ash. No focus ash? That was a free focus ash? What is going on? A free focus ash. He gets a crit with an ice beam. And he's gonna go for a rock slide here. Rock slide might care my Garrus. Does not. It's coverage. But we're sitting really good here. We're sitting really good. Garrus gonna get buff it. Does Dustin Water get buffed by that? Or do ghost types not? curious i'm curious this thing got a free focus dash. it does see you later dude. see you later it got out dude that legit survived on one it survived on one so i can easily just win this battle out here right how many pokemon does he have he has two more in the back plus his frow here so we'll have, we'll have one more pokemon in the back we are sweeping right now. we are sweeping and he's gonna throw out his guard chomp okay the well, guard chomp is a bit more on the scarier side which leads me to just want to double down into it I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna drop a rock side because I think rock side can take out the frogator. Let's see, let's see. But if this thing, if this guard time is fully invested in speed EVs, which I think it would be, it should be able to outspeed my Pokemon and pick up a Pokemon. At that point, I could bring out either Flygon or Yamane. Bring out Flygon. But I guess he's not fully invested in speed. We chip up some damage. We do life orb. This rock side is not gonna be able to kill. Oh my god, we flinched him. We flinched him. We flinched him. I feel bad for him. We flinch him. Oh, but Feraligator survives. How dare you, Feraligator. He's gonna go for an Aqua Tail. That's gonna KO me. There it is. That's what he should have used instead of Hydro Pump. He should have used that because that would do a lot more damage. So he takes out my T Tar. Uh, Garrus might go down to Buffets. How much damage is this gonna do? No, it should do 11. Cool. I should only did 10. Dope. So at this point, oh, see you later. I could bring back out Flag. Which is probably my best bet, right? Bring out Flagon. I could freely drop EQs. And we'll use John Megan in another battle. We'll use John Megan in another battle. 
Let's get it. But I definitely want to showcase uh, Flygon to its fullest potential. I feel like we already did that in battle number one. We still have two more battles to go. But, oh, wait. Is this his last Pokemon? This is his last Pokemon. I'm just going to protect him, and I'm just going to choose into a Dragon Claw now. Wow, this is his last Pokemon. I thought he had one more. I don't think he had one more, but it's all good. It is all good. We're going to protect our lovely Garrity Garrido so he doesn't go down. And we're just going to roll into a Dragon Claw with a Choice Scarf, knowing that we're going to outspeed him. And we're just going to take him out. Um, no, Flygon. Cook it. Cook it in battle number one. Starting off with a big time EQ double kill. And then clean up that guard chop at the end. Second battle coming at you guys. We're 4v4 in this time. And we're going up against a Star Raptor and Mighty Anna team. I feel like Mighty Anna doesn't learn to intimidate. I'm not too sure. I don't ever go up against this Pokemon. So it's pretty cool to actually see him in the Coliseum right now. He's got him on top with Intimidate. How many Intimidates does he have? You have five intimidates? Hit my top? Oh my god, yo. Physical attackers, get out of here. We can't do anything with physical attackers. What is going on? What is going on, yo? Titar, I still think I'm gonna lead. Even if he wants to roll into like a fate uh or intimidate Pokemon. But that is just awful, man. Do you have five intimidates? That is ridiculous. We're gonna roll into that. We're gonna bring a uh, Yamega in the back end because we're definitely gonna need a special attacker. And then last but not least, um hmm. Scizor? I don't Oh man. I do not know. Doesn't X Scissor have a high chance of critting? We might need that. Does not. I'm thinking of cross poison. Who do, who do I want my final Pokemon to be? Maybe just Flygon. We got a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna go Flygon. Let's do it. But that is wild. That is wild. I was just looking at his team. Yo, Gyarados intimidates, him on top intimidates, Arcanine intimidates. I think Mighty Am intimidates, and I know for a fact Star Raptor does. Let's see. Let's see what he goes into. It's gonna be double activity. What is going on? But I do have the rock move. I do have the rock move, which could be pretty good. Intimidate is gonna affect them pretty well, also. So uh, I might just roll into a Willow Whisper. What do I do? I dang, yo. <laughs> Look at this. Three intimidates on the field. What is going on here? What is going on? I, I could protect my Arky and drop a rock because I feel like the waterfall has got to come into the arc, right? Or do I protect the T-Tar and drop a Willow Whisper? I mean, I feel like Arcanine could be able to eat this, right? Be awful. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. I kind of just want to drop a Rock Side. It's not going to do anything, though. I say, you know, I say we protect them. I say we save with him with both. I say we save with both. Star Raptor could you turn out. This is just awful, man. Double Intimidate. Get a close combat shit up and see you later, dude. Oh, T-Tar eats. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Thank you, Intimidate. Titar eats. Titar, can you go before that Gyarados? Can you go before that Gyarados? Well, Lewis comes out before. Oh my god, I love you, Arcanine. That's a big time for him. As long as he's not Lumberry. Because his defense is down, I would love to land a Rock Slide on him. Let's see how some plays. He's going to go for an EQ? Is he going for an EQ? Can you eat that, Titar? I love you, Tyranitar. I love you, buddy. I love you, Tyranitar. That's huge. Now I need you to land this Rock Slide. Double down. Let's go. Let's go. Should be able to do the good damage on Star Raptor, right? Yes. That's some lovely damage on Star Raptor. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, at this point, what do I do? Um, I'm thinking of just slowing this pace of the battle. Wait, right, right? What I mean by that is like, uh, just protecting my Arcanine. I could swap my Arcanine. I could swap him if I wanted to. What do I have? I know I have Yamega in the back end, and then I have Flygon. Flygon's gonna be really good. So we got a lot of speed in the back end with the Flygon and the Yamega because Yamega gets speed boost and the Choice Scarf on that Flygon is just immaculate. So I might just send my Berry here and get rid of the Star Raptor. Make sure the Star Raptor goes up, right? I'm not too worried about the Gyarados that much anymore due to its burn. So I might just use up my Berry here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna withdraw the bird. If the bird gets a withdrawal, and who's he gonna pop into? Who are you gonna go into? Arcanine of its own. Okay. So as long as that thing's not flash fire, I'm guessing it's intimidate. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> it's intimidate. It's going to intimidate me. T-Tar does so much work, he's just intimidated all game long. Flamethrower's going to poke here. Chip up a little bit of damage on them. I'm going to hit that bird on them. But that, that's fine. That's fine. It, it, it's getting the work done. He's going to end up going for a waterfall, and you are going to take out my Terminator. Right okay. I'm actually really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. So at this point, I could bring out my Flygon and just start sending EQs. But well, I kind of want choice to a Rock move. I don't have a Rock move. Dang it, dude. I thought I had a Rock move. There's two Flying Pokemon. What do I want to choice into here? I could choice to a Dragon Claw. I think Dragon Claw might be our best bet. 
Could bring in Yamega though. Yamega's not too bad here. What's your speed at Yamega? Right now with nothing on it. With no plus, it's 147. Should be able to outspeed that one. Maybe not the Gyarados. So, you know what? I might just protect Yamega this turn. Get him in there and save my choice scarf, Flygon, for the back end. And then I can uh, choose to the move I want. Because we know it's Pokemon. We know uh, it's, it's Star Raptor and then these two. So I think choosing like Dragon Claw is my best bet, but I'm just gonna protect. How many turns left in Sandstorm? I don't want to take all my stash, but I'll still protect it. And I guess I'll snarl here. I guess I'll snarl because I think that Arcanine is special attack, and so if I can start dropping the stats, we kind of just get buzzed there. Okay, I'm cool with it. Protect my little buggy, my little buggy bud. Arcanine's gonna go for Flare Blitz, and that is a physical attack on. That is scary. Snarl's gonna poke here. I'm gonna chip off some more damage and maybe get off a flinch next turn. Yeah, Mega's not gonna do too well. But I feel like my choice scarf well, I can come in the back and clutch this battle up for us. He's gonna end up taunting me. It's fine, we're not burning him anymore, so dude, I like that turn a lot. I like that turn a lot. Arcanine's gonna get buff it. Yeah, Mega's gonna get buff it, which is tough because that takes off my focus sash. I really wanted that focus sash. But we'll take a speed boost and we can pop an air slash and get a chance for a flinch too. So Gyarados is guaranteed dead this next turn. I mean, so I'm just going to Snarl onto him anyway. But Snarl will take him out. I'm going to Snarl just to chip off some damage on the Arcanine. And then I'm just going to roll into it. I could you turn out. I could you... Oh, yeah. That's my play all day. I'm going to U-turn into Flygon here. Actually, no, I'm not. Do I? Because you turning into Flygon, we resist fire move. We know the Flare Blitz is coming. But then Flygon has taken Intimidate. Hmm. I'm going to do it. Let's switch to a Dragon Claw. I'm with that all day. I'm with this play all day. I do like this play. I do like this play. Yeah, we, we, we resist fire. We resist fire with Flygon. So that's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. We're, we're trying to make some good plays for you guys today. I wish it's gonna go into an air slash, but air slash I don't think has enough mustard and tank to take out that uh, Arcanine. But Flygon's gonna fly here. Nice little swap from us. And he's gonna fly butts, and we should be able to resist. Hey, look at that. Nice little resistance shot. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Arcanine should go next. I like how his Arcanine is just Arcanin without an E, <laughs> which is kind of funny. We snarl, we take out the Gyarados, which is huge. And I'll take an Intimidate and I'll just choice into a Dragon Ball. That play all day. And then we just have Yamega in the back. Be... What it, yo? I'm with it. So great swap from us. Beautiful swap from us. But the real question is, who do I take out here? Who do I go after? Hmm. The plays, the plays, the plays. We're definitely fine with this. I'm definitely I'm definitely chilling with this battle, I feel like. As long as that uh, Star Raptor is a choice scarf, we should be fine. This Flygon should be fast. It's on the field. And I think I'm just going to take out... Who do I take out? I gotta just take out that Arcanine, right? Yeah, I'll try and call into the Arcanine, and I'll just flame throw across into, into this lovely little bird. That should be GG's, right? Wait, does he still have one more Pokemon? He might have one more that we haven't seen yet. Does he? I don't even remember taking out the Gyarados. Gyarados, Star Raptor, Arcanine. He might. I think he has one more. I think he does have one more that we haven't seen. I kind of want my Arcanine now. I'm gonna go for an extreme speed. That's fine. That's actually, a great play by him. Dragon Claw's gonna come out here. Take him out, right? Oh, it does not. It, oh, no. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. He's gonna bury up. We have a bury of our own, which is good. Can we get rid of the Star Raptor this turn? Star Raptor's gonna go next. He's gonna drop a Brave Bird. Who are you going into? Flygon. Can you beat that? Wow. That's tough. That's tough. But we still have Yon Mega here, which is Yon Mega's solid. He's gonna take recoil damage. Flamethrower should be able to take him out. All day, and we still have a berry. Ah, Flygon dropped out. Just because we didn't take out, and we didn't take out that Arcanine. That could have been huge. If we took out that Arcanine, we could have took it. We take out the Star Raptor too, and I think he still has one more Pokemon. I actually haven't checked. Let's see. Obviously, we have Yamega for for our last Pokemon, and I might protect and just get the speed boost, you know? Well, and who's he gonna go into here? Who's the final Pokemon gonna be? This Scissor? It is going to be Scissor. So Scissor could definitely protect here. Which I'm, I'm definitely protecting. And I'm going into a flamethrower. Scissor can definitely protect. But we have our Guava Berry, which is beautiful. We do have an Aguava Berry. 
wonder what he's gonna do here. This is coming out to the wire. This is coming out to the wire. I probably should protect this turn my Arcanine. I probably should protect my Arcanine this turn just in case he protects. So let's see, he is gonna end up protecting. You son of a biscuit. Okay. And what are you going for, Arcanine? Extreme speed. Is that trigger Guavberry? It does not. But I think we should be fine. Because I don't think a bullet punch KOs me. And I don't think a uh, an extreme speed kills me. And at that point, a Guavberry should trigger and it should bring us up to HP to soak up the next. So I'm gonna go for an air slash here. Try to get rid of you. I'm just gonna flamethrower cross on this scissor. Ooh, this is a great battle. This is a great second battle. Hopefully we can pull this win. Hopefully we can pull out this win. That's a great BDSP battle. He's gonna extreme speed me. Like I said, this should trigger Barry, right? Yes, cool. Quad Barry pokes out here. Bring us up probably to close to 80. 89. And this should allow us to eat up a bullet punch, right? Yeah, he was doubling down in my Arky. Let's go. That's big plays. Big Barry plays. Big Barry plays. Air Slash gonna poke through here. And we miss? That's fine. As long as his flamethrower don't miss. Cool. Scissor, get on out of here. You're not surviving that. Stab, four times super effective. Get him on out of here. How do you miss an air slash, up, Mega? You're better than that. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. Speed boost coming out here, and that's going to be GG, Joe. He's making the great plays, making the great swaps in the Flygon, and this guy just legit turned off his switch. He hit that home button, hit the XA. You guys know what home button XA is. It just starts down the software. And uh, we take battle number two, which is beautiful. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against another absolute banger of a team. This guy's rocking hit on top. He's got Dragonite, Latias, no, Latios, Latios, and then he's got Arcanine, and then Rain Squad with Ludicolo, and my boy Politoto over here. Okay, how should I lead this one? How should I play it? I think he's going to lead the hit on top and go for the fake out and, you know, get the Intimidate off. So maybe leading a special attacker like Yamega could be really solid because A, we can get off a speed boost. B, we're super effective onto that Latios if he wants to lead it, and we're super effective up against that uh that hit my top. So I really do like that. And I'm kind of leaning towards his Arcanine here. Yeah, flag on the back end, and then last but not least, a lot with Garrus, because like if he sets up rain, we can get some work done. We can get some work done. We'll make our water moves do more damage. Plus, we have an ice fang, which is super effective onto that Dragonite and Latios. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But yo, the battles have been so much fun. I don't know why. I don't know why the battles for this video have been so much fun for me. He goes hit my top. He goes into Arcanine. I'm totally cool. I'm totally cool with that. I'm going to go in with Arcanine of my own. He could definitely fake me out, but I'm just going to protect my, uh, I'm going to end up protecting my, uh, my young Mega and throwing a Willow with Silver Ronald that I hit my That's 100% my play. I'll take my speed boost. I'll keep my focus as right now. I'm with it all day. I am with it all day. So yeah, let's do it. Intimidate's coming in hot, dude. Good thing I have two special attackers. My both, my only two special attackers are out on the field. He threw out his two Intimidate people. That's big for us. So I'll protect him. Try to grant that speed boost. And then just, I'm just going to burn him on top, right? I'm just going to burn him on top and get after the battle that way. Let's see what he does with Arcanine. I think he's faking out my, my Yam Mega. And then going after him as well. He might double down into him, which would be beautiful. But if not, he's going to fake out my Arcanine, and I think that the Arcanine is going to throw a fire move in a slot. We shall see. We shall see. But yeah, Arcanine's looking spiffy. Arcanine's looking spiffy. We got him on top doing his dance boogie skiddle over there, which I love. And then I got my boy Yamega just flapping his wings. Such a cool Pokemon. He's going to fake out the Yamega. Beautiful. Show me the Flare Blitz for Flamethrower going in that slot, too. Show it to me. Bang, 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 bang. Double protect. We love it. We love it so much. Great protect from Jeans. And then we get that speed boost on top of it. And plus, we land this beautiful will o -Wisp. This lovely little will o -Wisp. So, at this point, I think we just try to KO the him on top here. And we trigger our focus. Right? Probably our best bet. We could swap our Arcanine. Which wouldn't be a bad play at this point. I could U-turn out. I could 100% U-turn out. That might... But that would probably be my next turn play, right? Because I don't think he doubles down into me. But I could go into an Intimidate and save my Arcanine's Intimidate for the back. I do like that. Let's do it. Let's get this Gary to Garrett out here. Gary the Garrett out on the field. We're just going to air slash with Yon Mega. And then if we want to, we can just use turn Because this might not KO him. This might not KO the hit my top. But I just don't see him doubling down in my Yon Mega. So I feel like Yon Mega should be able to get off another turn due to its focus sash. I'm cool with that. Tim is going to fly out here. These guys are both chilling at minus two, which is gorgeous. And look at him on top. Since it got burned, I think it struts slower now. I would think it would be because if it was paralyzed. He's going to go for a wide guard, thinking I'm like snarling or something. That's an awful wide guard. That is one ugly wide guard. We're just air slashing straight into him. So beautiful. Big old damage and Yan Mega coming in hot. I told you guys I'd be showcasing Yan Mega. 
Because after the first battle, I was like, yeah, I'll get him in, in another battle. Yeah, I'll make it coming in hot here. He's going to go for the Fire Bloods, and this is exactly what I expected. Focus Hatch coming out here. Not even, because he's minus two. Wow, we so... I never seen it, because Yamek is not bulky at all. I never seen Yamek is so good. Fire Bloods, like... That's tough, though. That's tough. But something that I was going to say is, like, I can't believe, like, Yanima was... Didn't have an evolution before Yanmega. Like, just Yanima was a Pokemon. It just looks like the smallest little Pokemon ever. Like, how could you make that Pokemon, put it in this game, and not give it an evolution? No one was ever using it until it got Yanmega. And Yanmega is a great addition to the Pokedex. Great addition. Great evolution. That's why I love Gen 4 so much. They just took a bunch of Pokemon that needed evolutions and just gave them not just evolutions, amazing evolutions. Like, they're all fire. Magmortar, Electivire, Togekiss, Yanmega, Probopass. Who else do they have? I know there's a few other ones. Glade. I mean, you didn't need Glade, but still, Glade's cool. And then you got Frostlass as well. At this point, we're Speed Boost Plus 2. I'm gonna go for a Bug Buzz here and just uh, Waterfall Cross. I like where we're sitting. I really do like that. And But yo, that Shiny Latios. That Pokemon's gorgeous. I just love it. But yeah, I think we have Match 3 in the bag. I always do solid in BDSP battles. It's looking really solid for us because Bug Buzz should be able to do a lot of damage, but probably not take him out. But still, it should do a good amount of damage. We'll see. We'll see. It might take it out. Because Gladius isn't too bulky, but I don't think it does. Yeah, see, kind of close. Kind of close. Kind of real close. He's going to end up dropping Drake Meteor. That's going to not take out my Gyarados. It's nice. I thought he was going after Yamega. But oh, it does take out my Gyarados. God dang. Is that crit? It just ripped into me. So he's going to pick up the double kill. Actually, Yamega might be able to suck up another Flare Blitz. Let's see. If he gets a low roll. He's still. Okay. I'm with it. That's. You just gave me the win. You just gave me the win. Now I can bring out my. uh. Now I can bring out my boy, my Flygon, and just solidify this. But he just gave me the win because Mega over here is not a physical attack. He's a special attacker, so Burn is really only just chipping up damage. I'll bring out Flygon. We can finish off today's video with the two boys who I want to showcase the most, Flygon and Yamega. I got speed all day. I got speed all day. I got speed all day. I could U-turn pivot, but nah. We're just going to bug buzz into you, and I'm just going to choice to an EQ here. I'm choosing into an EQ all day. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have choosing into an EQ, but I, I just I just think it's a play. We can rip into this Arcanine. Ladio stands no chance. He's gonna swap, and I was gonna go into Air Slash instead of Bug Buzz because that instance, but it's totally fine. Is he gonna go into? Oh, we might have to swap our Flygon. We might have to swap our Flygon. That might have to be an option for us. We might have to swap our Flygon. Bug Buzz is gonna fly here. It's gonna do like no damage, but still. Take off its uh, multi scale. Niki's gonna fly, it's gonna get protected. We still outspeed him. We still outspeed him. Okay, we might. I might wanna swap him right off the rip here. I'm gonna have to swap him. I have to swap Fly on right here, right now. I'm gonna go into an air slash, and I'm gonna look for a flinch onto, onto you. Yeah, and I have to swap. I have to swap Fly on. And the reason I have to is because he has two flying Pokemon and I need my Dragon Call to do it. I have to swap flying. Dang, dude. Actually, his battle's turning around. I might have called I might have called victory too early here. I think he's going to come out here. We're going to lower Athlete in minus three. Might be able to eat a Fire Blitz because of that. And uh, if that thing's physical attacking, that's a big, big time intimidate. See how some plays. I'm going to go for an extreme speed. Can we eat that? We do. I love you. I love you, Omega. Air Slash coming in hot. Chipping up some damage. Which is nice. Oh, that's a good amount of damage. And this thing is just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, which does not affect my Arcanine. It's huge. Can we eat this burn? Can't eat this burn. So he's going to extreme speed in me. I could protect, but there's no point. I'd rather just waste a turn there, because we would go down to burns at that point. And... Hmm. I guess we'll go for another Air Slash. We'll Air Slash and we'll Flamethrower. I guess over there, or I'll throw a burn. I'll throw a burn all day. I'll burn him. I'm cool with this. I like where we're sitting now because Flygon should be able to come in the back end and clean this up. Because Ark and I can't really do much up against my Flygon besides like burn it. But at that point, we can definitely win a 1v1 even if we are burned. Okay. Okay, so the, our opponent had us against the fence for a little bit, but I'm feeling I'm feeling good again. Extreme Speed, we knew was coming in here. Takes out my Yamega. Um, he gets a crit. It didn't even matter. Yamega's doing some work. And let's see what he does here. What are you going for? He's going to go for a Snarl. Okay, so Snarl, Snarl comes ripping in here. That's my special attack, which I am a special attacker. And we're gonna roll into Willow. So at this point, um 
I'm not really gonna worry about the Dragonite too much. Should I? Should I worry about the Dragonite? I'm trying to think. Oh no, he has Lumberry. Now I did. Yeah, now I'm going. Okay, okay Dragonite, I see you. Flygon's gonna come in here. I think he's gonna go for a Willow. I might. I can't protect this turn. I have to go straight into Dragon Call. But I think his Dragon is going to protect, but I can't make the hard read because if not, we die. So Dragon Call is going to be your choice move. We're going to go into that. And I got to start slowly chipping onto this Arcanine. I, I got to get after it that way. Let's see what he does. Please don't protect the Dragon. Please do not protect the Dragon. Battle's coming down to the wire, folks. It's okay. We already guaranteed ourselves a win. Right? I would love to win this battle. Get Flygon in there. My boy Flygon in there. Hey, dude, if we didn't choice into EQ, we could have been... Thriving. I would just choice in the dragon call right off the rip, thinking that he that uh that would have been a bad play. But once he threw out the dragon, I was like, I need Flygon. I need Flygon to be choosing the dragon. One hundred percent. My problem here would be if he protects. Yep. Oh no, he protects him. Okay, I dig that. I don't mind that. And he doesn't protect Dragonite. Beautiful. That's huge. So my problem would have been if he protected Dragonite and Willow Wisp my Flygon, then we would have had a problem. But this battle is looking. Awesome. It's looking really good for us now. Really, really good for us. So I'm surprised he actually protected him. Maybe he thought I was going for EQ. Nah, son. What should we scarf? We had to, to drop back. We had to drop back. He brings out Latios. Uh, Latios I'm definitely scared of. Is he can drink a Meteor? Me? But what he doesn't know is I'm choiced. And I'm faster than him. So get him out of here. So he's probably sitting there like, oh, I'll just drink a Meteor hit. Nah, son. Nah. Flygon, show him your speed, dude. Show, show him your speed. This is why I love me some choice choice scarf action. Love it. Love it. See you later, dude. See you later. He's probably sitting there like, what? What's going on? Because <laughs> Latios is one of the fastest dragons in this game. Hooks really, really fast. Arcanine's going to go for a snarl. Flygon dodged it. It's okay. Special attack here. That's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's because he still hasn't burned my Flygon. So I'm just going to start dragon calling, eating away at that, and it's over with. So he was ready for what's it called. He was ready to just Draco Meteor down my uh, Flygon and finish him off there. We said nah. We said nah. We said nah. We have choice scarf in our back pocket, which is huge. So now we can just try and call out. I'll keep snarling out because we can't burn him and flamethrower is going to do absolutely nothing. So that should be GG's. That should be GG's. How much damage are you doing, Dragon Call? Solid. Solid. We love it. He goes for snarl. That's fine. That's fine. You can go for snarls all day. I'm surprised he hasn't burned me yet. I'm surprised he hasn't went for the burn. Seeing that I'm dropping physical attack and moves such as EQ and Dragon Call, it's working wonders. Snarl comes out here. One more Dragon Call. Should be kind of close. Unless it has a berry. Which it might have a berry. Might have a berry. Dragon Call, I think it's going to bring it down to low red. But I think our opponent should just cancel the battle here. And it should all be over, right? Does not cancel the battle. Here comes Dragon Call. Coming hot. Take it out. I told you. I knew it. Low red berry comes out. Get out of my face, yo. You rocking the Guav or Figgy? Is that a Guav? It's a, Ma it's a Mago. Mago. This little Mago bag. I can't believe he's just ripping in his... Oh, not doing anything. I'm using Dragon Claw. I'm physical attacking over here. But now the battle should be over. This next Dragon Call should be able to take him out. This next Dragon Call should be able to do the work. Love it, yo. Perfect record for you guys. And got the show of Flygon immensely. That's lovely. That's a that, that that's solid set of battles for you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Dragon Call flies through here. Bang. See you later. Arcanite. Get out of my lobby. There it is, guys. 3-0. Grab yourselves that perfect record. This Flygon team was so much fun to use. I'm glad we grabbed ourselves a winning record and got to showcase everybody on this team, right? We got to use up everybody, I believe, right? I think so. Maybe. I don't think we used a scissor today. Did we poke in with scissor? I don't think we did, which is totally fine because I use scissor in like every other video. But yeah, Flygon definitely rocked out. Thank you guys for suggesting me using Flygon. If you guys have any other suggestions, make sure you guys leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to read them and potentially use them in my next BDS. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.